performed a compression test on a cylinder and the results are out of specs, the next step is to perform a leak down test, also known as a cylinder leak test. It measures the percentage of air escaping from the combustion chamber. When performing the leak down test, the engine should be at operating temperature. The tools required to complete this test are the engine leak down test kit and a mechanics stethoscope. The procedure is as follows. Start by removing all spark plugs. Using a dial indicator or the timing marks, set the piston to the top dead center of the compression stroke, or TDC, on the cylinder you want to check. It's important to remember that some engines may need to be locked in position before performing the test. Here's a tip. If checking more than one cylinder, follow the engine's firing order. It will save time. Refer to the shop manual for engine specifications. Connect the leak down tester to an adequate air supply and set the gauge needle to zero. Install a gauge adapter into the spark plug hole to supply the combustion chamber with air pressure. Keep in mind that all testers have specific instructions on gauge operation and required pressure. Refer to the gauge manufacturer's instructions for details. Be careful, if the engine is not locked, it could turn over when air pressure is applied to the cylinder. Remove any crankshaft turning tools and keep hands clear prior to connecting the air source. Note the amount or the percentage of leakage to compare with the specifications in the shop manual. In general, a 0 to 15% leakage means the engine condition is excellent. Between 16 to 25% is good, between 26 to 40% is fair but with reduced performance, and 41% and higher means the engine is in poor condition and needs to be diagnosed and repaired. Once the test is completed, if your results are out of specs, it could mean that the piston was not set on top dead center of the compression stroke, but at TDC of the exhaust stroke, which would have caused the valves to be open during valve overlap. You need to rotate the crankshaft one full turn and then perform the test once again. If the results are still out of specs, a diagnosis is required. A high leak down measurement in a cylinder indicates air is escaping. You need to find out exactly where air is escaping from. Start the diagnosis at the easiest and most accessible point. Air bubbles coming out of the coolant tank indicate that air is escaping to the coolant system, most probably through the cylinder head gasket. This can be confirmed by using a chemical block tester. Other possibilities of such issues are a cracked cylinder head or engine block, or the cylinder head screws are loose. To check the following points, you may need to listen for air leaks using a mechanic stethoscope. For example, you can remove an exhaust sensor, the oil dipstick, or any other easy to remove component. Air escaping from the intake port or the throttle body means one or more intake valves is leaking. Air escaping from the exhaust port means leaking exhaust valves. If air is escaping into the crankcase area, then you may have an excessively worn cylinder, worn or broken piston rings, or a damaged piston. Here are a few hints and tips to help you confirm your diagnosis. White exhaust smoke out of the tailpipe can indicate a leak to the cooling system. If the combustion pressure leaks to the cooling system, the increased pressure will cause the coolant system cap to open and let pressure vent. Carbon deposits, a burnt valve face, damaged valve seat, or bent valve stem can cause the valves to leak. Blue exhaust smoke out of the tailpipe can indicate damaged or worn piston rings or valve stem seals. However, when the valve seals are the cause, the smoke will be noticeable mostly upon engine startup, as the oil seeps past the seals when the engine is stopped. If you suspect an excessive leak to the crankcase, 
add a teaspoon of engine oil through the spark plug hole and perform the leak down test once again. The oil will help temporarily seal the rings and confirm your diagnosis. Thanks for watching.